I'm really passionate about horticulture because it makes you realise exactly how plants work and how they actually help us in our everyday life and our environments, how they supply you know, well, all of the animals around us with habitat and food and nutrition. We try to find jobs that are that are real so they get to have a real life experience with the actual work and they get heaps more out of it than building something and then pulling it down, you know. Part of this group have been involved in doing landscape design so they've actually, with Robin, put the design together based on the brief that the client has given us and the client in this case being Gotave. We did a site visit first and then we drew out a site plan, we took some photos. We got a plan off the architect and then we designed everything to scale. So they let us have a bit of fun and then sort of rein it in a little bit. We did like a presentation and then they took it away and kind of morphed all the designs into one. So, which is really good to also see what elements of our designs were really practical and were able to be done. And it, it's really nice that everybody's designs get included as well. It's good to have crew working together in groups too. There's all that communication stuff and, and negotiating and um, you know people being good at certain things, not being good at other things. And they actually teach each other. With any of the projects I do with them, like for irrigation installation here, for example, they actually design the irrigation system. So, and then they put together a shopping list. And I actually show them what the spending is through the job. So these guys have a breadth of horticultural you know, exposure. They're also doing some conservation land management sort of stuff at the moment as well. I'm quite passionate about that part is that you know, you'll see people and they'll just be like, oh well, you know, conservation, it doesn't really matter that much, but you don't realise how much of your life really depends on the environment. I like the fact that we've got a community focus. So a lot of our other projects have been, you know, based on community, even the revegetation side of things when they do the conservation land management. We'll try to tie in with land care groups or councils or groups like that. I remember the first day we came out here and Tommy's like, all right, we're going to build a footing for our seats. And we've been talking about it for ages and then we just do it. We come out here and he shows us how to build the, the formwork for the concrete and then how to level it and how to mix up the concrete. And before you know it, you know, you're, you're concreting and you're building a block seat and you're rendering and before you know it, you know, we've come from this bare, bare landscape that's had hard compact soil to it's starting to look like a nice area that people are going to enjoy for, for many years.